I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Eastern Cottonwood. Eastern Cottonwood Populus deltoides is in the Salaceae or willow and poplar family. Its genus Populus includes aspens, cottonwoods, and other poplars and consists of about 40 species that are widely distributed throughout the northern hemisphere. Eastern cottonwood is also known as eastern poplar and necklace poplar. It is a medium-sized to large deciduous tree that grows 80 to 100 feet tall and 3 to 4 feet in diameter. Open-grown trees tend to have a large spurting crown that is supported by a massive trunk. It is a fast-growing tree. Two-year-old trees can be as tall as 30 feet. Eastern cottonwood, cottonwood is short-lived species that peaks around 45 years and starts to deteriorate around 70 years, and maximum lifespan has been estimated at about 200 years. It is an important wildlife tree, especially in the plains area. Eastern cottonwood is found from the Rocky Mountains to the southern Atlantic coast, but is largely absent from the northeast and the Appalachian regions. It is found in most parts of Kentucky except for the southeast and the eastern regions. It is commonly found growing in moist alluvial soils throughout the plains and prairie straits, states, usually along streams or watercourses. In the Mississippi Valley, on moist alluvial soils, it grows exceedingly fast. It is considered a bottomland species that is commonly found growing with American sycamore, American elm, and black willow. It may also be found on moist old field sites with sweet gum. Eastern cottonwood is classified as very shade intolerant. Eastern cottonwood is a deciduous tree with simple, alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are three to six inches long, triangular or deltoid in shape. The margins of the leaves are crenate to serrate, and the leaves are pinnately veined, like a feather. The leaf petiole is flattened, and there are small glands present at the top of the petiole. The surface is a lustrous green and the underside is somewhat paler. And fall leaf color is yellow to golden. This species is dioecious, meaning there are male trees and female trees. The male and female flowers are in loose drooping catkins and they appear before the leaves emerge. The male flowers are reddish and more conspicuous than the female flowers and they tend to flower at least a couple of days before the female flowers. The flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a cottony seed born in a dehiscent capsule. Typically there are 30 to 60 seeds per capsule and the capsules are on short stalks on long catkins. An eastern cottonwood is a prolific seeder. Trees can produce millions of seeds per year. Seeds mature over the spring and summer and are dispersed from June throughout late July depending on location. The seeds are wind dispersed and the cotton attached to the seed aids in their dispersal. They are also dispersed by water if the tree is located near a water body. Trees can begin seed production as early as 5 to 10 years. An eastern cottonwood is also capable of vegetative reproduction through stump sprouting. The bark is gray to yellowish green on young trees, and as the tree ages, the bark develops thick ridges and deep furrows, and it turns grayish in color. Eastern cottonwood is generally considered a low-value wood that is often used for utility purposes. It is lightweight and relatively soft. The heartwood is light brown and the sapwood is pale yellow to nearly white, but there isn't always a clear demarcation between sapwood and heartwood. It is rated as non-durable and is also susceptible to insect attack. The wood is used for boxes, crates, plywood, pulpwood, and other utility purposes, and occasionally its burls can be used for turning bowls. Eastern cottonwood is important to wildlife, especially in the plains area. Many species use cottonwood as habitat for shelter and nesting, especially along riparian areas, including bobwhite, grouse, hawks, eagles, and other songbirds. Trees, especially young trees, are important browse material for deer, rabbit, and mice, and beaver use the saplings and the pole-sized trees for food and dam construction. Additionally, it is the larval host plant for the eastern tiger swallowtail and the red-spotted purple butterfly. The national champion eastern cottonwood as of 2022 is in Sheridan, Kansas. It is 451 inches in circumference, 70 feet tall, with a 148-foot crown spread. 
The Kentucky Champion Eastern Cottonwood is in Warren County. It is 281 inches in circumference, 128 feet tall, and it has an 82-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees and check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Eastern Cottonwood. The common name of cottonwood comes from the cotton-like strands that accompany the tree's seed in the spring. The other common name, necklace poplar, refers to the long, narrow seed capsules that look like a string of beads. Eastern Cottonwood is the state tree of Kansas, Nebraska, and Wyoming. It is sometimes called the pioneer of the prairie because pioneers on the Oregon Trail would look for such trees for their shade and firewood and their presence usually meant water was nearby. The oldest eastern cottonwood was the Balmville tree of Balmville, New York, which was estimated to be 316 years old at the time it was felled in 2015. Populus is the Latin common name for this tree, and its epithet deltoides refers to the shape of the, tri of the leaf, which is triangular or deltoid in shape. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, and, or neighborhood, and appreciate the trees of Kentucky, including the eastern cottonwood.